Okay, uh, this is part three of my dream interpretation series. Uh, I'm still on the basic elements of a dream, people, places, and things. Today we're, oh, this time, we're doing places. Now, places in your dreams are areas in your mind. These are a unique combination of showing distance between not physical areas in your life that you've been to, yet of concepts. Remember, it's all squeezed within approximately, you know, uh, 30 centimeters space, uh, which you call your head, not including your hair. Now, your mind is saying there's a unifying principle per area, and it tries to think in like terms. This is how human psychology works. We think of things in like terms, and what we don't understand, we're still trying to slot somewhere. You might think of, say, the backyard of your house, where you've got some grass, maybe a back lawn, maybe some trees, depending on how big you were used to having one as a kid, uh, or as a young adult. In this backyard, uh, I'm speaking from the Australian experience, backyards are a big thing over here, though they're getting uh, marginalised, quite literally. Uh, you might have uh, a set, like a small net for background so uh, backyard soccer, you might have a small set of cricket stumps and a bat uh, for playing, um, obviously, cricket. However, in your dream, uh, this is the place to have them. You have dusty old things in an attic, uh, maybe with cloths covering it. If someone's dreaming about things that they've kept under wraps, they, while wanting to keep them stored for later, they might dream of having an attic on their house, even if there is no attic on the house. Uh, they might have a basement, and this is where you throw things where you want to store them for a very, very long time once again. However, this is uh, a lot, it's a lot darker place, so people tend to keep things they want to keep out of sight, um, and don't have much intention of retrieving. Uh, usually in dreams, when you think of uh, a house as a location, usually these are the areas that people spend the most uh, time in, and the house usually represents the most intimate aspects or intimate areas of themselves, especially the bedroom. So usually the things we hold the dearest in a dream are usually located there. So if you're dreaming about the Serengeti, you're thinking about all things that remind you of the Serengeti. Maybe you think of it as a wild place where there are very few rules. Maybe you think of it as a place place of freedom. Maybe you think of it as a place of savagery or violence. The important thing is not that there is one standard definition that everyone else is wrong. The important thing is, what did you feel when you saw this area? What are the associations you have in your mind? These areas will hold all things with similar associations. So that's places, and finally we'll come up to things. So I'll do that in the next video, and good luck.